Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As you can see, we are moving forward. We want to participate in zone 5. That's why we are trying to cover all the lost territories which we have. Currently we are in the zone 3, uh, we want to go to the zone 5, so that's the, our main goal. Let's see how much merits we are going to get from these fights, uh, which should be really interesting, simply because, as I have mentioned a lot of times, one of the best combat gameplay I have ever seen in any Kingdom Builder game, uh, that's the Call of Dragons, and most important statistic in this whole game, which determines how successful you are on the battlefield, is a merit score. Right now I will try my best best to showcase how you can fight as a free-to-play player against a lot of turrets, a lot of keeps, a lot of rallies and a lot of enemies who are around me. Of course, I will try to focus mainly on the ranged players because generally, like, fights are determined against ranged players, against ranged ones, because they are the strongest legion type in the game. So let's see how much merits we are going to get, let's see how much turrets we are going to destroy and what's going to happen in general in this big skirmish. Of course the, the bed, that's the name of the alliance which we are fighting against, is not our main enemy, they are just distraction, they are not allowing us to move forward in terms of zone 5, so we kinda have to defeat them in order for us to move forward. They had a pretty good um, like high ground and they defended pretty well, they put two uh, keeps and a lot of turrets but still I think we are strong enough in order for us to move forward and do a lot of damage against these enemies. Of course our main enemy is uh, Glorial Alliance which is right now fighting in the zone 5 so we hope to join them as soon as possible because we want to take the revenge because of the zone 3 wars and as you have seen in my past uh, gameplay videos that uh, glory and like three alliances merge together in order to defeat us so our main goal is to just simply take our range and fight perfectly unfortunately as uh, everybody already knows long range warfare will be removed from the next season so it's like last fights for the archer mains like me who wants to have some fun on the battlefield maybe in the future long range warfare will be back with us but so far the information we got is that Long range warf warfare won't be here in the future seasons, which means uh, mages will get back their like status of having the longest range in the game. Uh, and yeah, as a marksman main from the season one, from the season zero, I guess it's been really, really hard for me to play um, in like war situations because whenever mage players are hitting you and you are just marching forward while you have the highest, like lowest amount of march speed on the battlefield field as a marksman player it has been always the big struggle so like i'm kind of interested what's gonna happen in the future seasons and i want to see how well in general marksman players can play the war situations because having less amount of range is like mage players yeah it, it should hurt a lot right uh, as we can see we moved past this like 100 Reds and two keeps. I think they still have some legions, like six legions on this keep, and we are still move, trying to move forward. I'm pretty sure they don't have enough troops to fight us back because they have been trying to defend like whole day. And finally, like I was confident in myself and in my alliance that in the end, whenever our tower will be built near them, we would be able to destroy them, and that's what we're actually seeing, right? I'm not sure if I will be able to get a lot of merit out of these fights because we are just stronger than our enemy uh, so far and they like used all of their resources and all of their troops even some stamina of the heroes that's why it will be hard for them to do anything against strong enemies such as we are right but still i will try my best to get as much merits as possible so far I think I have not got even targeted, which means um, my legions should be totally fine, and they are, right? Like, every each of them has a highest uh, high health, which means we have enough troops to continue this fight against the enemy. Of course, I always like to target mages, and I'm like, that's why I'm always trying to fight in zoomed out moment, because it's way easier for me to click 
on the correct um, legion which will help me to determine uh, what to click because if you're gonna play like this it will be so hard for everybody to understand what's going on on the battlefield and even I can see what, what legions are my ally members targeting so it will be easier for me to know uh, which is our focus what to focus and what to like avoid maybe uh, if nobody is hitting some infantry player if my tier 5 players are not hitting infantry it means that i should not do same so right now i see that like uh, at least five or seven of my ally members are hitting this infantry player that's why i'm trying to do same simply because as a free to play player like um, and tier 5 tier 4 player it does not really worth it to hit infantry because you are getting a lot of counter attack damage to yourself and it's not really worth it in my opinion until your tier 5 players will do their maximum and the infantry will have low amount of hp then i would agree that you can hit some infantry until then it should be pretty useless of doing that because i simply will get a lot of counter attack damage to my myself which will ruin my allegiance damage capabilities and i will have way less uh, damage whenever i have less and less troops in my arsenal i guess this guy is just simply afk let's just punish him for being like that simply because like yeah whenever there is war uh, being afk is the worst thing you can do um, and yeah I, I guess he was just trying to build this tower which is totally wrong option for now right let's just defeat this cavalry and then i will focus on this infantry player i guess yeah like if you will see the hosk mains and hosk as a primary hero i would not advise trying to attack it and simply because hosk has huge amount of counter attack damage uh, which you always want to avoid right right now i'm trying to target magrot because magrot doesn't really have a lot of counter attack damage and like whatever Magrot has is big amount of healing and big amount of damage in terms of normal attacks. Um, unfortunately, in this fight, I had had to mainly focus on infantry because uh, enemy ran away pretty fast, and we managed to destroy a lot of um, ranged legions which enemy had in this area. So right now i'm just trying to pick up the members which are left and try to be impactful in that way of course whenever you see cavalry players you have to always go for them because they are the squishiest ones um, all they can do in the battlefield against uh, like alliance wars is just rush towards enemies and just die and that's why i have been saying that like cavalry needs some more love from the developers and i'm pretty sure they are going to have some more and more love in terms of like capabilities damage and survivability because that's the main idea what they are missing and hopefully they will get whatever they are missing right because i think every single legion type needs to have some kind of love in in some kind of seasons uh, that's why i think removing long range warfare is not a bad thing uh, for example for two seasons it was made out of archers in past seasons <clears throat> it was meta of mages and right now i think soon it will be like more cavalry meta and uh, yeah like let's see how how everything will be happening in terms of cavalry players and their meta i guess this guy just jumped out from the from the city in front of my legions and i guess that should be the best target which i can really do right now and of course i will just try to have a better position in terms of uh, my ally members because yeah as you can see i got targeted um, my legions got hit pretty hard so i guess this guy was tier 5 player he pretty much destroyed my a uh, couple of uh, hero pair which is one of my favorite which is craig and thea i have been playing with craig and thea and with wyverns pretty much the whole season and i'm falling in love because i never expected that my craig and thea would be so much uh, powerful and i would be able to get so many merits with this uh, hero pair because yeah i'm, I'm in season sub 2 and like having epic hero as a primary hero i thought like i would get like average amount of merits but every single time whenever there is war uh, my craig and thea have been one of the best performing legion type in the whole game so that's the main reason why i fell in love with the wyverns and in general wyvern gameplay 
right now it would be better if i will just have a better position um i think this video will be longer because i think enemy is moving forward and i will be trying sending more and more troops towards the battlefield and like yeah in like a couple of minutes away i will be able to check merits and i will see how much merits i was managed to get so far i still have my legions alive um, whenever my legions will be dead i will be checking the report of the merits and then i will send them back to the battlefield so far they are still here i'm still able to use my artifacts which is good enough uh, that's why uh, i'm not that close to my town and that's why i will be trying to be as impactful as possible because that's why i'm fighting i know that i won't be the best damage dealer around the battlefield unfortunately but whatever i can do i will absolutely try, try my best because that's the main idea uh, as a free to play player you have to be helpful you have to be supportive and you have to be active that's that's like main idea what i have been speaking about call of dragons all the time i understand you might not have like huge amount of merit score but that's the job of the tier 5 players if you will ever get to tier 5 then it will become your job right but as a tier 4 player as a free to play player what you can do in the battlefield is to try to be as active as possible so you will be able to be at least there and at least take some hits uh, against some strong enemies while your tier 5 players will be able to move forward and do damage which they can absolutely do i think i did pretty fine in this fight in terms of merits my last legion which is walder and Welin, will be uh, going home and meanwhile i will be checking uh, the report and the hospital um, i will hope that i will be able to send my troops back to the battlefield uh, which will continue for a long time at first i will send my craig and thea because they are the first ones who got at home and i don't want to lose some time right let's check how much merits i got from this first fight uh let's see what will be the merit score well as i have mentioned many times whenever you see yellow in your report it means you did absolutely fine and i guess for every single legion like i was fighting with the four legions i did absolutely fine right my craig and thea died first and uh, i have mentioned that one of my best performing marches uh is having seventy thousand merits syndrome and fragar is five one one syndrome and fragar nothing um, like uh, special that's why it has fifteen thousand merits and my nico and kinara is my strongest legion which i have because kinara is the only legendary hero which is awakened in my army um and yeah i always expect more but yeah like i think 80,000 merits will be fine in this moment right and yeah 20,000 merits for Walder and Welin simply free to play friendly Walder and Welin my Walder is awakened my Welin is like 5113 or something like that so like it's it's kind of the, the fine whenever i see yellow it always makes me happy right let me check the hospital it should not look great because i got targeted a couple of times but i'm pretty sure i will be able to send a couple of a uh, couple of more troops around the battlefield well whenever you are fighting against tier 5 players you should always expect that your hospital will be full and it won't gonna be easy to heal your troops uh, right now i will be waiting for my armies to go back and straight up i will be moving forward with my uh, legions which i'm currently have uh, of course i will send craig and thea here because uh, this legion will be uh, there in a fast moment uh, so let's go i guess um england fans are screaming belly goal because i guess they scored right last time i checked they were losing but right now while well, my main uh focus is on call of dragons and let's see uh, how we will behave in the future fights uh, my other three legions will be back on the battlefield pretty fast which will guarantee us to have one more fight and more footage for the combat gameplay of the call of dragons as you can see like a lot of people have been saying that there is like less and less marks less and less major legions around the battlefields of call of dragons and still what i can see from here is that mages are still number one choice for many players players 
we shouldn't be a uh, like surprise because a lot of players have invested a lot of time and energy and resources in mage legions so it's kind of expected that mages would be still uh, one of the most popular legion type in the game but i think for most people the most surprising thing which is currently occurring in call of dragons is that still lilia and Welin is the most popular a major hero pair in the game because of the scorch gameplay because of the uh, like superiority with the lilia simply because it's pretty well known that whenever new hero hero pair comes out in the game uh, they are the strongest ones but whenever bertrand and dohar came out still lilia and Welin is the strongest one um, i will try my best to wait for my legions to be here and that's why i'm keep talking and talking and talking because i don't want this video to be boring for everybody uh, and main idea about this video is of course combat gameplay that's why i will try my best to showcase that right now uh, let's wait for like one and a half minutes until my legions will be here and i'm pretty sure we are going to push again this keep will be down in two minutes enemies sending uh, infantry tier 5 rallies and uh, which means we are going to push one more time let's hope we're gonna um, uh, cross to 20,000 merits mark for every single legion uh, so far the closest one was the uh, Walder and Welling and I hope right now in the next fight i will see every single legion with 20,000 mark right um hopefully nobody is hitting this rally it will be like one of my best advices that never hit rallies especially marksmen and infantry rallies simply because your legions will be get destroyed you will have full uh like a hospital and it will be impossible for you to continue fighting against strong enemies so as always try to avoid the rally hitting if you want to destroy a rally take rally yourself and target the enemy's rally that would be the best advice from me if not you can always try to stop rally by the moving your legions around so like i think hitting the rally is the worst choice you can ever make whenever you are fighting and whenever enemy is sending quite a lot of rallies towards yourself uh, let's see how quickly yeah one more minute and my legions will be here and i will be able to continue this amazing fight which we are having right now i i think that um, until end of the season season I, uh, my alliance is going to have a lot of wars a lot of um, fights simply because there is nothing to do anymore and that's like the best thing you can do whenever you are playing call of dragons to simply try to fight all the time because that's the most fun you can have in the kingdom builder game right i understand for pre to play players farming is also important but if you won't gonna have the excitement of the fighting and combat gameplay in general in this game then even farming will become really really boring and at the end of the day you are going to leave the game right uh, yeah my legions are quite close which means that we are going to join the fight and try to move forward right uh, i think most importantly we defeated almost every single turret which enemy had in this territory and right now i will try my best to simply target as much mage players as possible and i will be able to deal the damage to them the most important thing about Craig and Thea is that you are hitting AoE, which means whenever Craig is using the uh, skill damage factor ability, uh, it hits couple of legions uh, with the like with the skill damage factor. That's why during the war situations, having Craig as your hero pair with the Wyverns is quite a good idea because you will be hitting couple of legions around the battlefield. Right now, if I was not zoomed out, it would be super hard for me to understand and not click on mage, not click on rallies. Uh, that's why sometimes playing with phone makes everything really, really hard. And what's important right now, nobody is targeting my legions. And of course, I will simply move back because I do see this cavalry player moving forward which is bad idea of course craig is getting targeted i think i avoided phoenix eye there because it was shown the roundness and yeah i will just stand here and wait until my enemy's cavalry players are rushing towards my legions and i'm simply doing them some damage to them right i'm not sure what is targeting me that's the razor i guess that the cavalry player which wants to hit me but 
I guess that's the bad idea, right? Hitting with like 70,000 troops uh, as a cavalry player. That's, that should not be the plan. That's why I think in a couple of seconds we are going to push towards enemy and it should be way better than it was before. Um, I guess enemy is just trying to move up. It would be amazing if none of my ally members will touch uh, this rally uh, because nobody wants to have so much counterattack damage to themselves and same as me, right? At some point they have to split, they have to break the rally uh, because if they are not going to do that, they are getting stuck, they will be behind us and it will be pretty awkward for everybody to do something like that. So at some point they are going to break this rally and we will be eating what's left for us, right? Let's see, let's see when they are going to break this rally. Like at some point they have to do that, if not, well, good luck for them because we are going to push and yeah like they it means that they are missing a lot of tier 5 players which are inside this rally um i'm, I'm not pretty sure what they are doing here now let's wait for a couple of minutes couple of seconds until we will move forward as you can see enemy has like 25 legions inside this keep uh, which should be pretty awkward and as i have said it before this video will be longer than usual because we are fighting we are having a couple of pushes and uh, like if i want to showcase the gameplay of call of dragons it's almost impossible to put it in a 10 or 15 minutes video because uh, generally that's how combat gameplay is happening in Call of Dragons sometimes enemy is pushing you sometimes you are pushing the enemy that's the back and forth which is happening as always and um, I think if they are not breaking these rallies at some point the rally will hit the fort and then 100% they are have to break the rally because they are going to run home for a couple of minutes right and here we are grouping up we are waiting for more members to group up on the same uh, circle so we will be cohesive and we will be attacking together i think we are just waiting for our infantry players to move up because infantry is the most important legion type in the whole game and that's why i think having strong infantry in your alliance is one of the most important thing which you can do in general in call of dragons as an alliance right i'm not sure what this guy is doing i guess he just wants to give us some more merits we we, we are always going to take that because more merits means that more items from the merit shop which means more good stuff for everybody right we are simply waiting for the infantry to start moving up let me check what's happened actually with the fort uh did, did they break the rally or what's actually going well I guess this is quite funny, they are still not breaking the rally and we should be using this time uh, simply because I'm pretty sure they use tier 5 players for the rally and uh, they, they don't have much right now. I'm not sure, yeah I guess they just simply destroyed their keep uh, which was sitting here with like 25 members and only defense they have right here is this group of people and this group of people which i think will be not that hard for us uh, to push away and do the damage right i guess we will need some more time in order for us to simply move forward and unfortunately i'm not the shot caller of my alliance um, i'm not trying to be uh, i'm just moving forward whenever my alliance members are moving forward and i hope like at least some of the fighting gameplay which i already showcased was totally fine uh, for you guys and you enjoyed it you learned something as a free-to-play player it's always always important to understand how you can generally fight in this game so like at this point i will stop recording this video i hope um, this video will be helpful i hope you enjoyed it if you did press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this amazing game i hope everybody amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck